Hello everyone, I'm Arnan Araza, a PhD student at Wakinayan University in Research. For today, I'll be talking about maps of above-ground biomass or AGB, how are they being validated to assess map accuracy. You may know that AGB is a measure of the weight of woody vegetations and because of this variable, carbon can be estimated, mapped, and even integrated to global climate models. An example is this CCI Biomass Map 2018 produced using radar remote sensing at 100 meter pixel size. As of now, at least 15 global AGB maps exist and their number is anticipated to increase because of the recent and upcoming satellite missions related to forest structure in AGB, as shown here. But how AGB mapping works? Usually, AGB estimates from the ground, like forest inventory data, are correlated with remote sensing signals, such as surface reflectance or backscatter intensity. AGB can then be predicted spatially from these images. This method is essentially an indirect method, while the direct estimation of AGB makes use of parametric physical models. The map shown earlier and here is a direct estimation using synthetic aperture radar or SAR as the main input to derive the growing stock of forests then converted to AGB. But are these maps accurate? A standard important procedure is to validate maps independently in relation to the accuracy requirements of map users and given that non-uniform bias or systematic errors are common to AGB maps as well as imprecision due to random errors. The reference data used for validation are usually field estimates of AGB from forest inventories and airborne LIDAR, accessible in data portals like these examples. However, these reference data are not error-free, and their uncertainties coming from measurement error, for example, should be accounted prior to comparison with map estimates. That is the main motivation of PLATOMAP tool. Currently, the main functions of PLATOMAP include plot data pre-processing and selection, plot level uncertainties estimation, and even plot harmonization to address temporal and spatial mismatches between plots and maps. The main guideline of PLATOMAP is the CS book, a comprehensive validation protocol. Once uncertainties are estimated, it can be used as weights when estimating the average biomass at aggregated levels. Then, these plot-based estimates are finally compared with the map estimates. Here you can see the interactive version of plot -to map but it can also be used locally. We are currently integrating it to the multi-mission algorithm and analysis platform by ESA and NASA. plot -to map would provide summary results, and here we see the earlier mentioned bias in the table. We also see the spatial prediction of bias among AGB maps, particularly the map underestimation or those red pixels mainly due to remote sensing signal saturation. And we also see green pixels where maps slightly overestimate. While these issues have been reduced in more recent map products, there is still a need to account for these map errors via uncertainty modeling which would provide bias corrected maps and their uncertainties. This step is currently being integrated to PLATOMAP. With that, thank you for listening.